Good Friday morning to you. As we begin this Friday together, I'd like for us to be aware of the fact that today we're looking at the Spirit of God that indwells within us. We looked yesterday at the mind of God and how the Spirit indwells in our mind. But then the encompassing fact is in 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16. We find Paul writing to the church at Corinth, and he's saying, I want you to be aware of the fact that you are the temple of God and the Spirit of God indwells in you. And there's a second part to this scripture. It says, in anyone who comes to defile, harm, deter, or misrepresent the Spirit of God in you, the temple of God, that person will be accursed. 1 Corinthians 3.16, Paul reminds us that we are the temple of God and that the temple of God is no longer the temple in Israel where you have to go and bring a sacrifice and ask one of the Levites to intercede for you for forgiveness. Instead, you bring your own sacrifice before the throne of grace. You petition God yourself. You don't need the Levite tribe. You don't need the Levites, no. You don't need the temple because you are the temple of God. It says, come boldly before the throne of grace, interceding to the intercessor, confessing basically your sins to him. Now, Paul reminds us, you have been created in the image of God. You and I, we've been created in the image of God. And with that image, we have also been created as the temple of God for the Spirit to indwell, to live, to illumine our hearts, our minds, our bodies, our vision, our future for Him. 1 Corinthians three sixteen. Read that verse tonight before you go to bed. And today, as we walk in this Friday, remember, you are the very essence of God. You are the temple of God. For the Spirit of God dwells in you because when the Holy Spirit came upon you to save your soul and to mark indelibly the mark of the Son, not the mark of the beast, but the mark of the Son upon your head, but upon your soul for eternity. You are the children of God, indwelling in the kingdom of God, because he has called us to be the temple of God. His Spirit, embrace it, know it, know him, Follow it, follow him. Maybe together we can do that today. Pray with me. Father, we often forget that we have been created in your image. We ask that you would take not just that image, but the essence of your creation, your createdness, and it is we. We present our bodies as a living sacrifice, and not only as a living sacrifice, but the temple of God where your spirit lives and breathes and moves and leads in us today. Help us to remember that and never forget it. Amen. God bless you. Hope you have a great weekend coming up. And remember, you are the temples of God because you're his children of God. God bless you. I'll see you Monday morning.